Okay, here we go. I got another project here at the house. Can't really work right there. It's really hard on the back. So I'm gonna try to build uh, a desk for the computer and printer. My wife said, why don't you go out and buy one? And really, honestly, I was a little bit offended by that. You know, after the storage shelves in the garage. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, how about the computer desk I made at our old house? That turned out way better than I expected. No, I think mostly it's the noise I create in the house. Or maybe it's the sawdust I track. If it doesn't turn out, I told my wife we can go out and buy one, but let's try this first. Hope you enjoy it, and I gotta get to Lowe's. Thanks for watching. All right, just back from Lowe's, and I uh, picked up a couple of things I thought I was gonna make my desk out of. But then we went to this other store called Menards, and everything changed. They had a lot more selection. And now I'm going to go with this style here. Here we go. And you're not going to believe this. So I brought this all the way from Vermont. This hop horn bean, if you remember, if you've been watching, I used the other lengths of it to build that handmade door handle on the log cabin. It's a beaut! I just skinned a little bit, see if it's nice and smooth. Perfect underneath. So I'll peel this. Uh, with the draw knife, and um, I'm gonna try to incorporate that on the desk too, somewhere. So yeah. Jeez. City life. Found this old uh, wire that's really heavy duty and it's got like, I don't know, what is that, 12 copper strands in there. So I'm going to cut the sheathing off of here and I might use it on the desk. We'll see. But it's pretty on the inside. got the bright bare copper strip and it's about seven or eight feet of it I think. Oh take a shot see what happens here. <laughs> it scared me. How can you see what's happening? Treat him. That's ugly, I'm sure, but that's even uglier. Got superheated and burnt right through the metal. But those pieces are on there. I don't know if I can fix that. Maybe I'll throw a weld there and up top here and then see how it looks when I <laughs> grind it down. Maybe my welder is too high. Yeah, I got no idea. Man, I do feel like could have some fun with that welding and stuff if I got the hang of it though. Yeah, we'll keep practicing. All right, next day here, got some more metal uh, for my welding project. And then I did a little more research on my welder. I think I just had this turned up way too hot. Yeah, and I was going to have a cross piece, but somehow my calculations are short and I am short a piece of tubing. Darn it. But yeah, as you can see, the welder uh, does stick metal together. Um, so I'm thankful to Rylon for sending me out. Whether it's a quality welder, I don't know. It's a mini uh, budget welder and it does do the job. So. Um, I'm not a quality welder, so I can't really judge the quality of the work, um, but it does put two pieces of metal together. So for around $100, I'll put the link in my description. 
Um, I think it does the job uh, serviceably. So I plan to just put this under for a frame and then I'm going to sandwich the other board on top to make it a little thicker. Um, and then I got a couple other things planned. We'll see how they take shape. And then my legs here, these are kind of wild car. I don't know how they'll look. I mean, the wood's a similar color. They're going to be decent. Okay, so I got my, my table routed out here and my inexperience with the router is similar to my inexperience with a welder. So my channel just kept getting wider and I was trying to get it as uh, square as possible. But my next plan is to put a strand of this copper wire in here. And then I had these lights left over and I wanted to incorporate them in the desk also. So I had this idea to run that in with the copper and then epoxy it into the table. Split that right out. Well, I think I'm liking the look. I just don't know how I'm gonna get it into that channel. So, I have to think about it to make my channel a little taller. See what I figure out. All right, I used the grinder to ground this edge down on the metal, and it looks decent. I didn't clean it up completely because, you know, I wanted to know my first time welding, so it's not going to be perfect. But uh, And then I came with a little sandpaper. It makes it nice and shiny. And actually, I got one more plan. I'm going to route out some strips here um, for some you know, bottom lighting. Now I told you I didn't have much experience with the router. I, I wasn't lying, but uh, this will be the underside of the desk just where my, I plan to have the light shine through. So I didn't have to be too careful with it. And as you can see, uh, I wasn't. Um, so now I'm gonna try to, the legs are gonna go up through this bottom plate of my desk and connect to the, the top plate of the desk. So I'm just gonna uh, mark out where they're gonna go and then try to cut them out. got the holes drilled out. Now I'm going to try to fix the light to my top of my table. Keep moving. All right, there's the glow that I plan to have coming out the bottom. Just flick the light off here. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I'm thinking of a better way to do this. Uh, I've got to do four of these, and it's taking this long to do one. Um, yeah, so might have to just keep whittling. <laughs> making no progress. All right, thinking about changing up completely and just doing a half log.
Well, it's decent. Yeah. That'll work. Well, my design keeps changing and copper no longer fits the uh, style of this jack. All right, and because I like welding so much, I've added some more welding to my design, but I brought back that old cruddy helmet and got this uh, second one. Hopefully this one's a little better. Paid about twice as much, but I couldn't see anything through that first helmet. So this one's auto darkening. Hopefully that's better. Then I got myself some thicker, um, most likely safer gloves. So uh, we'll start using these and uh, we'll try to weld up the rest of my frame here and show you what I'm up to now back and forth on what I was going to do, but now I think this is what I'm going to do. I cut this square tubing to length here, and this is going to deepen my channel so I can have my lights running under um, my design copper there. And then the light will shine through, and then I'll seal over it with some epoxy, and I think it'll just make a nice accent for the front of my desk. And definitely one of a kind, um, but I think the wife will like it, and that's all that really matters. All right, let's get the weld and see how that goes. So that's for my top piece here, and then this is for my keyboard rack. I'm gonna put the, inlay some wood in it uh, and have that slide out from under the desk. Big moment here, I try to weld a little better than last time, because these welds are now gonna show. Probably should practice some more, but uh, don't have time for that. What are you doing? Um, imagining there's a desk right here. <laughs> <laughs> Soon enough. Okay. Take our grinding back to the other side of the house here. There we go, that thing is sparkling now. See it shining in the sun, look at that thing, glisten. All right, let's see if we can go get this attached to the table. That took about an hour of grinding, so. I didn't get too much filmed here at the end of the day, just wanted to get some things done, but I got the frame on um, and my copper design is set in there now. So I just need to epoxy that, which I'll probably do tomorrow, flip my legs on, um, and then get this keyboard pad on. I struggled, broke a screw off in that and just got to do a couple minor things and then sand the whole thing down and stain it. And uh, we should be ready to go. So hopefully it'll be just about finishing putting the finishing touches on it tomorrow if everything goes smoothly so all right you'll see you in the morning hey good morning so my channel's all prepped uh, and i had some extra space and hole and then below the metal frame i also tried to put a little uh clear caulking in there hopefully it's going to hold my epoxy filler in this groove because if it doesn't um that's going to be pretty disappointing uh, there we go All right, two minutes. Now I'm supposed to stir for another minute. Ding. Okay, well, here's my resin. I'm a little worried. <laughs> How much I'm gonna need. I don't think this is gonna do it. Pray that it's not leaking out the bottom somewhere. We'll find out. Oh, 
leak. Oh my gosh. Absolute disaster. <laughs> All right, well, this is like worst case scenario. It's leaking, but hopefully it looks like the leaking slowed. Maybe if I hit it with a little torch, it'll harden it a little faster. Let's see what happens. All right, I had to walk away from that disaster for a while. Let's come back and see if any has hardened in the channel. How does it stop dripping? That's close, it's still dripping. All right, so some of it is setting up in the channel, so that's a good thing, but I am gonna have to run back to the store and get some more epoxy. All right, here we are again, take two. We're gonna just mix a little bit this time, make sure there are no holes in it. Also, don't forget to level your table. Holy smokes. All right, no drips so far. Mix another batch and do this end. There we go, I don't see any leaks. I'm a happy man. there we go we're over the timeline and over the budget but the desk is complete i'm pretty happy with how it came out uh, it looks better from further away you look close and some of the, the the finer details are a little rough i'm no furniture maker learned a new skill i'll say it lightly i mean i tried a new skill i tried welding and the metal's still sticking together and still holding so um, i'm pretty happy with that i think i'm going to do some more welding as time goes on, I did enjoy doing it. But I thank you for watching. No real updates on uh, land that we're searching for if you're following the channel. Still looking for a piece. Nothing's really stuck out to us that like this would be a great spot for a cabin that's within our price range. Um, so we're kind of waiting a little bit right now. Don't want to jump into anything. Um, hopefully prices will come down here in the fall or just that perfect piece of property will show up for us. Um, and we'll jump on it. And then I'll share that with you as soon as that happens. But for right now, I appreciate you following me. Thanks for watching. 120 volt outlet, so that's really nice.